yeah, the question is, what's your favorite TV show, friends? Um, I think for me, favorite TV show, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I, I think right now or ever. Either way is, is totally fine. Um, I think I... Look, I, I'm, a, I'm a big... I'm a big fan of, like, adventure sci-fi shows, right? Like, Star Trek The Next Generation. Um, like that, that. I really like the idea that anything can happen, right? And that they had uh, that we had ideas for exploring the unknown and challenging our notions, uh, you know, for what we think. The creativity for that canvas is huge. Daryl Hall says The Witcher. Oh, getting excited for The Witcher. I'm excited too. I can't wait uh, for them. Uh, did you hear, Daryl? They're doing a season two. They've already greenlit a season two. They're like, screw how well season one's gonna do. We're 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 in. <laughs> So I, sometimes when I see a show, like a series didn't get more than one season and no one designs uh, one season, like very rarely is it designed for one season. Um, sometimes that puts me off unless I know it was supposed to be one full season. Uh, if it's something that canceled, uh, usually it's not my thing. So yeah, I know I've been recently thinking about like uh, Stargate um, SG-1 got really good at one point. Um, and then Stargate Atlantis. I, I really liked those. I like the those um the series they kind of do it for me um but i mean it's it's also you know like uh the joss whedon stuff like uh right now i'm really enjoying um what am i enjoying i'm enjoying something i'm enjoying agents of shield um and uh with agents of shield uh especially i'm not going to ruin anything but in the last season current season like it definitely went in a direction where I'm like, oh, this is what I really enjoy about those types of uh, series. It's really hitting those things for me. So, a Cosmos does it get better because I watched the first like season, and I know lots of people enjoy it, but I just really had a hard time with the characters not being very intelligent. Like they did the typical like, and they they did like these for me zombies need to have rules that you you know because they're they're the enemy that that uh you can understand and so you the characters learn the rules and some of the you know some of the uh expectation is that you know like you know um by outsmarting by understanding the rules and outsmarting the zombies you know like everyone needs to die at some point i guess the zombies right but you had like characters going down in wells going i wonder what's down here you know like <laughs> I have a feeling it says Castlevania on Netflix twice, in fact. Uh, it's really good. And uh, I found out that, that that director, it was his first major directing um, uh, directing uh, debut. I've been slowly, very slowly consuming uh, Castlevania on Netflix. So it's very, very cool. Oven says the Big Bang Theory is really good for me. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's got that intellectual humor that you know and that weird geekiness um that they they really get like sheldon gets it perfect so elrock of course big bang and peaky blinders <laughs> zay says oh man this is such a hard question but one of the only shows i've seen more than five times and alters the way i speak and write for a while after every watch is spartacus yes it's spartacus <laughs> so a little known uh, a little thing that I really like about Spartacus as a as a TV show is that the music, the soundtrack in that that TV series is fantastic. I wish um, I could just get the soundtrack for that. 